I thought Grace would be here by now. Now how can she be? I'm gonna go talk to David. No, Grace, no, he, don't. Look, he won't talk to me in front of Sam, and I need to know what he's gonna say, so I have to go alone. What if he tries to hurt you? He's locked in a jail cell. Come on, how is he gonna hurt me? There are other ways, Grace. And I think he is a threat to my marriage, so I'm gonna deal with this head on. Now, please, I need you to cover for me. Don't tell Sam that I've... No, 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 Grace, please, I... Please, no, Eve, I... I need to do this. All right. Thanks. You know what? I'll be back before Sam even notices I'm gone. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about, Sam. Well, when she left, she told you she'd be right back, didn't she? That's what she said. I'm getting worried. It's not like Grace to be late. Where the heck could she be? No, I changed my mind. I don't care who you are. I don't. I don't want to hear what you late, have Grace. to say. Pandora's box no, has I'm been opened. No, I'm not open. listening to you. You need to no, know. No, I don't need to know. I need Sam. No, you don't need Sam. You need me. How Grace. can I need you? I don't even know you. Yes, you do. You need me, Grace, because... I'm your husband. Why did you just say? We're married, Grace. I'm your husband. What is this? Just some kind of sick joke? I've never been more serious in my life. No. Sam is my husband, not you. I don't even know you. Yes, you do. And if you search your heart, you'll remember me. No, no, there is nothing to remember. I don't know you. You've just appeared in harmony out of the blue. Grace, I'm telling you the truth. And deep down, you know it. You know that I'm your husband. Setting up this live feed so I could watch my sister die was a rather morbid touch, even for you, Father. Unlike you, I like to make sure all of my bases are covered. I want to see Luis put that poison ring on Sheridan's finger. Then the poison will enter her bloodstream and kill her. And the best part is, the poison is totally untraceable. I've heard all about the plan, Father. You don't need to remind me. Oh, for God's sake, get a hold of yourself, Julian. Once Sheridan's dead, all of our problems will be over. Unless you count being haunted by your dead sister. Killing Sheridan is the only way to keep Luis from finding out what we did to his father. If he did, it would be the end of the Crane Empire. Sheridan must die today. Sure you don't want me to hold on to the ring? No, Hank. This ring means everything to me. I just want to keep it close, all right? I can't wait for you to slip that on my finger. Yeah. Once we do, we'll be man and wife, and it'll be the beginning of our long and happy lives together. You still look upset, Charity. Look, there's no reason to be. It's a beautiful wedding. I know, Jess. I'm trying to enjoy myself, but I can't shake this horrible feeling. <laughs> of violence and evil. Something is terribly wrong. I can't imagine when my mother isn't here yet. I know your mother's gonna be here soon and when she arrives, everything is gonna be perfect. Where are you, Ivy? Mother said you saw the tabloid. Why aren't you here ripping Teresa to shreds? Run through those traffic lights, just do whatever it takes and get to that church and kill that little bimbo bride. <laughs> what 
is this? Is this somebody's idea of a sick joke? Oh! Teresa did this. Oh, that little bitch! I will kill her for destroying my son's life! I swear to God, I will kill her! Oh, I can't believe that that lying little bitch is the one who revealed my secret to the tabloid. Oh, Teresa ruined my life and Ethan's. She's not going to get away with it. Oh no, oh no, Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald. You're going to wish you'd never been born. Of the one who could sing so sweet And I would fly on the wings of the bird I knew it would take me high as breathe in, breathe out You keep me alive You are the fire burning inside of me You are my passion for life the church. Come on, damn it. <sighs> Come on, please. Bam, bam. Honking is not going to do any good. Oh, Mrs. Crane. Yes. What is the holdup, officer? It's got a small accident up ahead. It's got everything blocked up, but it'll be cleared up any minute. I haven't got a minute. My son is getting married. I have to get to the church. That's right. I read about that in a newspaper. It looks like a beautiful girl. Well, she won't be so beautiful once I get through with her. You have my word, Mrs. Crane. As soon as we get this wreck cleared, you're going to be the first one through. Thank you. I am not letting you get away with this, Teresa. There is no way you are marrying my son. So, Rebecca, what was that hideous crash we heard? Upstairs. Did I uh, miss anything? The ceremony's begun. Very soon, Luis will put that ring on Sheridan's finger, and she will take her last breath. Something tells me Sheridan's not going to be the only dead bride today. Once Ivy gets to the church, she is going to tear Teresa apart. Dreams are about to come true. I wish you were feeling better, Charity. Believe me, Jess, I do too. But I can't shake this horrible feeling. Everything's gonna be okay. You know, I mean, this wedding is perfect. Except for Mrs. Crane not getting here yet. But once she gets here, it's gonna be perfect. Awful premonitions. First 
First I saw Sheridan in pain at the altar, and now I see Mrs. Crane. She looks so angry. Please, God, help me be rid of these visions. Help me enjoy this beautiful ceremony. Welcome, everyone, to this joyous occasion. We have gathered here today to join Luis and Sheridan and Ethan and Teresa in the bonds of holy matrimony. The couples have prepared a beautiful ceremony, including traditional customs, as well as their own unique touches. And since this is a double ceremony, the service will have a special order so that some of the traditional Hispanic customs may not occur in the same places as usual. Let us begin by having Teresa and Luis's godparents bring forward the lasso. Thank you. This rope of flowers, known as the lasso, is a symbol that these separate individuals have chosen to become one in marriage. If the two couples will please kneel. My children's lives always be filled with as much joy as they are right now. This is a beautiful ceremony. I wish Grace was here to see it. Sweetheart, we should tell Sam that Grace is back at the police station. He's worried sick. I know he is, but I can't tell. I promised Grace that I wouldn't. Honey, I hope we're doing the right thing. So do I. I hope everything is okay with Grace. I'm your husband, Grace. <laughs> Stop saying that. It's not true. Yes, it is. Why do you think I came to Harmony? I don't know why you came to Harmony. I don't know anything about I you. I came to Harmony to find you, Grace. <laughs> I came to Harmony to find my wife. Grace, Grace. Grace, Grace. God, God. Grace. God. Grace, Grace. It's Mrs. Bennett. Oh, man, let's, uh, let's get on that open bunk. What's going on? Is she okay? It's none of your business. What was she doing here talking to you? I'm calling Chief Bennett now. He'll want to get down in here right away to check on his wife. Chief, it's Officer Baker. I think you should get down to the station right away. Your wife is here. Well, what is she doing there? I think she was talking to this David guy, and I guess she passed out or something. I'm on my way. Grace is down at the station. Now that the lasso has bound these two couples together, let us contemplate for a few moments the sacred bonds of marriage we celebrate today. I think we did the right thing not telling Teresa anything about the tabloid. At least now they're gonna have their wedding day. What about us? 
Are you gonna let us have our special day? Jen, you know that's not possible. I made a promise to Simone that if she lived, I would never see you again. That's a promise Simone don't even know you made. And secondly, I don't love her, I love you. And I think it's time we told her that. Well, I'm sorry, Jed. The promise to my sister means something to me. And I'm gonna stick by that promise. Let us now move on to the next part of our ceremony. It won't be long now before we're married. As these two couples recognize, marriage carries great responsibilities, not just emotional and spiritual responsibilities, but financial responsibilities as well. I now ask that the heiress be brought forward. The heiress are 13 gold coins. They represent the prosperity these couples will share between themselves as well as those around them. Why hasn't Ivy gotten here yet? I know what you're thinking, Gwen. You're thinking Ivy should be there by now. What? Uh, yes, um, well, it, it's me. You just rushed out of here so fast. I, I was concerned. I wanted to make sure you made it to the church safely. Oh, I haven't even made it to the church, Rebecca. I'm stuck behind some accident. Well, surely there is something you can do. I know how important it is for you to get to the church. <laughs> oh, believe me, you have no idea just how important this is. But the last time I checked, my car couldn't fly. Good news, Mrs. Crane. We cleared a path for you. You're going to be on your way any second. Oh, good. See, at least you won't miss the big event. <laughs> of course, <laughs> you are the big event. I'm sorry. I don't have time to chat, Rebecca. Nothing is going to stop me from getting to that church. Step on it, Ivy. Oh, I cannot wait to see the look on Teresa's face when you show everyone that people! I have to get to the wedding! Oh, Grace. Grace, honey. Can you hear me? Grace. Grace, are you all right? She's breathing okay. Boss is fine. Grace, honey. It's me. I'm here. What the hell happened to my wife? I don't have any idea, Chief. We we're making our rounds. We heard this David guy shouting out her name. We came running in and found Mrs. Bennett on the floor, passed out. Great. What the hell did you do to her? I want some answers and I want them right now. What the hell did you do to her? If this wedding goes on much longer, I'm going to die. A boredom. When the hell will Luis put the poison ring on Sheridan's finger? I'm murdering my own sister. It's a modern-day Shakespearean tragedy. My hands are of your color, but I shame to wear a heart so white. That's Macbeth, Julian, but I'm sure you need a translation. It means you're a bloody coward. Thank you, Father. I understand the reference. Then understand this. If we don't kill Sheridan, Luis will discover what happened to his father. And you'll spend the rest of your life in jail. And stop pacing, Rebecca. Ivy will get to the church soon enough. Now that the heiress have been blessed, Ethan and Teresa, Luis and Sheridan, will give each other part of the coins. This gesture represents the shared responsibility of finances in their marriage.
promise you'll always have everything you need. I already have everything I need. You. May you remember the symbolism of the Aris. For as long as you follow God's will, you shall not want. At this time, the brides have some special words they would like to share with their grooms. I didn't know about this. It's a surprise. What's going on? Just wait and see, my love. Sheridan, if you would like to begin. I have waited my entire life for you. I didn't know who you were or when you would arrive. All I knew is that someday a man would come into my life who would love me unconditionally, who would always make me feel safe and protected. You were that person, Louise. Today, you are giving me the greatest gift. Today, you are saying that you will never leave. I love you. I want you to know that I, too, will never leave. Like my ring says, till death do us part. <laughs> Your death is sooner than you think, daughter dear. My heart has never been so full of love as it is at this very moment. Standing before God and our loved ones, about to become husband and wife. I hope you know what this means to me. It means that my dream is coming true. Because you are my dream, Ethan. And as I look into your eyes, I know that every day of our life together will be another dream come true. And I can't wait to begin that dream as your wife. I love you with all of my heart, always and forever. What the hell did you go, do to Chief. my wife? Chief, let him go. Tell me! Chief. Let him go. What the hell did Chief, you do to my let wife? Let go. Sam. Grace. Grace. Oh, Snow, I love you. Oh my God, I love you too. I'm not going to leave your side. Looks like you don't need us anymore, Chief. We'll be right outside if you do. Grace, honey, what happened? Why did you come here? I'm sorry. But I wouldn't talk in front of you and I had to know what was going on. Did he say something to you? Tell him what I told you, Grace. I can't. Shut your mouth. I don't want you to say another word to my wife. Grace, come on now. You can say anything to me. What did he say? Tell him, Grace. Shut up! Grace, tell me. What did he say? Come on, Ivy. It's time to turn Teresa's dream into a nightmare. Where are you? Now it is time to begin the traditional exchange of vows. As these couples both realize, the exchange of vows is a momentous undertaking. Come on, Ivy, come on. The wedding chapel for the <laughs> oh, Yes, we're going to the chapel, all right. 
You're not going to kill the bride! Oh, oh good. Finally, the church. Hallelujah. Say the damn vows and slap that ring on your beloved's finger, Luis. I now ask Luis and Ethan to take their bride's hands. The car sounds like it's getting awfully close. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Sounds like it's had to the church. Oh my God, that's my mother's car. Did he say his mother's car? I think so. <laughs> Not even in our telenovelas do things get so weird. Mother, are you all right? Yes. What, what, what happened? I mean, did the brakes fail? What? No, the brakes didn't fail. I just couldn't take time to park. What? You have to stop this wedding. You have to stop it now. Yes. Time for Ivy to shatter Teresa's world. Because you're marrying me. Marrying the baby. Grace, what did he say to you that's got you so upset? Repeat it. Tell him, Grace. Tell him what I told Keep you. Keep your mouth shut or so help me, God. I will. Sam, let's just leave. Let's just get out of here and go back to the wedding. Please. Wait a minute. Did he threaten you? No. Did he threaten no. our children? No, he didn't threaten me. Let's just go. And he did. If you try to lay one hand on my children, Sam, he did. I will threaten kill you myself. Children. Please, let's just leave here. I don't want to be here anymore. Let's just leave. Come on. Please. I don't want you around this creep anymore. No, wait, Grace. You can't leave. Not until you tell Sam what I told you. And if you don't tell him, I will. Tell them all, Ivy? Come on, tell them all about the lying little witch. Ethan, I want this wedding stopped immediately. Mother, the, the wedding is already stopped. I think when you crashed into the church, uh, you took care of that. I don't think you have to tell anyone to stop it. Oh, well, I'll, I'll pay for all that damage, but I will not allow any more damage to be done to my son. Mother, mo mother, I'm okay. I'm fine. Yes, I mean, Ethan's all right. I mean, everything is perfect now that you're here. <sighs> Um, okay, so, as you can all see, my mother's here, and thank God she's all right, and, you know, no one got hurt. Um. Let's continue with the ceremony. We can deal with the car later. Mother, I'm so happy that you're here. I was really afraid that you were going to miss the whole ceremony. This is the happiest day of my life. I wouldn't want you to not see me marry a woman that I love. Is it me, Chad, or does something about this whole thing still seem a little strange? It definitely ain't just you. Wait a minute. Whitney. Is it a copy of the tabloid that Mrs. Crane's got in her hand? I can't tell, but I certainly hope not. What if Mrs. Crane's got a copy of the tabloid, then there's no way she's gonna let this wedding happen. No, it's gonna be a lot worse than that, Chad. If Ivy has a copy of that tabloid, she's gonna kill Teresa right here in this church. 
known Ivy for years. Something is definitely off. She's acting strange even for Ivy. And she certainly doesn't look like the proud mother of the groom. I wonder what's wrong. Mother, now Teresa and I will escort you to your seat and then we'll finish the ceremony. Yes, I mean, you've come just in time for the vows. Wrong. What is it, Charity? Mrs. Crane is furious. Something terrible is going to happen. I just know it. Okay, Ivy. It's showtime. Oh, come on, Ivy. Just wipe that smile off Teresa's face. Oh, tell them all that she's the one that you nailed the tabloid. Ethan, wait. There's something I have to tell you. Don't you want to hear what I told Grace, Sam? Oh, Sam, just don't listen to him. No, we never have to see him again. Let's just leave. You can't run away from this one, Grace. Don't you speak to my wife, all right? You leave her alone. Grace, honey, I'm worried about you. Look, you look scared. But you don't have to be, all right? I'm here to protect you. I know that, Sam. I wish you would just lock him up and throw away the key. We don't ever have to see him again. You can walk away from this, Grace. No. But it'll never Stop change it. anything. Stop it, please, Sam. Let's you just go. You always know what I told you. No. You can't forget, Grace. Don't listen. I know you can't. Don't listen. So you might as well tell him the Come truth. On. Go ahead, Grace. Tell him. Tell him I'm your husband. Ethan, you have to listen to me. I have something very important to tell you. Hey, Mother, it's okay. Look, you don't have to apologize for being late or, you know, crashing your car into the church. I'm just glad you're here now, okay? No, Ethan, listen, this is very important. I'm sorry, Mother, but it's going to have to wait. There's another wedding after ours, and I think we've already intruded in their day enough. And besides, I don't think I can wait any longer to make Teresa my wife. Don't worry. Once Ivy sits down, we can continue the ceremony. And then we'll finally be married. Yeah. Hey, you still have the rings, buddy? Yeah, of course. Nothing, not even a car crash is gonna keep me from slipping this ring on the finger of the woman I love. Get on with it. The sooner Luis puts the poison ring on Sheridan's finger, the sooner she'll be dead. I hate to rain on your parade, Father, but what if Ivy stops the wedding? Then what happens then? I'll tell you exactly what happens. That gun in your desk drawer better be loaded. Because Sheridan is going to die today, no matter what. I know you're going to love the rest of the ceremony, Mrs. Crane. Or I, I guess I, I should say mother. Because once Ethan and I say I do, because you're going to be my mother-in-law. Ivy certainly doesn't seem very happy with Teresa. Maybe that is a copy of the tabloid in her hand. Shame, well, if it is, this church is about to blow sky high. Oh, God, please don't let anything else interfere with Teresa's wedding. Miguel, my feeling's worse than ever. I feel danger. Look, maybe you're just reacting to Mrs. Crane crashing through the church. You know, but everybody's fine. No, Miguel, that's not it. I have a sense of pain and suffering. Charity, you don't have to worry. I mean, Ethan's mother's here now, so everything's great. You know, I'm sure the rest of the wedding's gonna be perfect. 
Okay, Mother, now have a seat so Teresa and I can finally get married. Ethan, what is going on? I don't know. And why is this woman going up to the altar? Is this part of the ceremony? Perhaps it's an American custom. Mother, you're supposed to be seated. No. No, baby, I will not be seated. I have to protect you. What are you talking about? You'll know soon enough, Ethan. You'll know very soon. Maybe you're, you're a bit disoriented from the crash. I mean, do you feel okay, Mrs. Crane? Those reality shows have nothing on this, darling. <gasps> Ivy's just about to show everyone the tabloid. I can't wait any longer, Ivy. It's time to blow Teresa out of the water. Excuse me, everyone. But before this wedding can go any further, I have an announcement to make. 